So since the release of TBC, many items from the old world have simply stopped being acquired by players as they've simply forgotten that the old world exists. And this has created something of a void in the market that means that some items have actually got some really good value still. So in today's video, I thought I'd quickly go over three of my favorite items from the old world that I still like to go out and acquire from time to time during TBC to make a healthy profit. Whether these items are used by myself to create other products that I then sell or more often than not simply sold directly to people who are wanting to level professions or maybe make some level 60 items that are still useful in TBC, these things will sell one way or another. So let's dive into it with our first choice. Now first up we're going to talk about arcane crystals. Now arcane crystals are nowhere near the money that they were in the original version of vanilla classic of course however they are considerably easier to acquire practically any class can now pretty much just walk into diamond mall and do a jump run in absolutely no time just absolutely blitzing down the mobs and walking out of there with all of the thorium in just a few minutes getting the arcane crystal is of course still going to be a matter of rng and whether you have the capacity to turn it into an arcanite bar or not is going to dictate how much money you make however I did find that on my realm I was getting 5 gold a crystal which is really not that bad given how easy they are to acquire now. I was able to just simply run into the dungeon, run the whole way through the dungeon and at the end there were 3 thorium veins for me to be able to try my hand at. Then of course with it being a jump run you just run back out, reset and acquisition of arcane crystals is something that you're going to be able to do quite easily with this method. Moving into item number two, it's going to be the large brilliant shards, which I was reminded to put in at our number two spot because I actually got one along the way trying to pick up the arcane crystals from before for this footage. Now, large brilliant shards are going to be useful for anyone leveling enchanting, as well as many people who are wanting to make enchants that are the cheaper alternatives to people who don't want to outlay the money to be able to get the TBC equivalent enchants for their gear. As a result, there's still quite a large market for these, and on my realm they're selling for about 8 gold a pop, which is really not that bad when you consider just how easy they are to acquire, and if you are going on those jump runs, you can pretty much guarantee 2-3 to three of these crystals per run, given the bosses that you can kill along the way, which is incredibly easy to do. Now, that being said, there are alternatives to the Dire Mall and the Jump Runs for getting these, with you being able to get them in Strathholm, which is a very common farm done at high levels as well, by people who are mass pulling, such as the Paladins, that like to pull the entire dungeon, and also in other dungeons, such as the latter half of Blackrock Depths, if you're having a bit of trouble clearing out the other instances due to the class or gear level that you have available to you. Now speaking of Stratham, I actually went there in my acquisition of large brilliant shards for this footage, but with also a view to looking into the light side and seeing if I could get a Righteous Orb. Righteous Orb is going to be our third choice for this list, and it is something that is going to sell in and around the 10 gold mark, and is pretty much exclusively at this point going to be used for the Crusader enchant. Now the Crusader enchant is actually favoured by some people at level 70 over its level 70 alternatives. However, it's also going to be used for people who want a now relatively cheap enchant to be able to level with. This is going to have a lot of value for a long time coming because a lot of people do also like to use it as a cheap version of Battlemaster for the heal that it provides when doing old content. The orbs aren't particularly common from the mobs in the living side of Stratholme, however, it's not a particularly difficult farm to do and is quite accessible, particularly if you are a horde, with the ability simply to go to Undercity and then wander on over and slowly kill the mobs at your own pace. But that is going to about wrap it up for today's video guys, I do hope you enjoyed this short and sweet video on three random items from the old world that still hold value that you may wish to farm if you're finding that the TBC markets on your realm are just a little bit too overcrowded. As always guys, do please consider liking the video and or subscribing to stay in touch for when the next video drops. But for now guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Later.